so this is the next project which is going to be a bookshelf for a corner section of the house put books on um, this is rough sawn micro carpet uh, it's not the greatest timber here at the moment this is the leftover of bits and pieces I had it's got a bit of rock and a bit of checking in it so hopefully once I cut it down and and uh, plane it all up we will have enough timber to do the job I'm, I'm looking to clean it up and split each piece so we should have enough here uh, to do the bookshelf through that end there so that bit's pretty much no good for anything apart from keeping someone warm in the winter time So that's, that's the finished shelf size, uh, 330mm by 600 and then we'll have an end piece, end piece and then support piece, support piece. And that's on five of the shelves and then they'll all be linked together as they stack up the wall. Alright, so um, I've sorted out uh, six of the best pieces for the shelves uh, and the rest of it will be going into the supports on the ends, these bits here, here, here and here. So that's the plan these support pieces into the shelf they'll be dovetailed in uh, that'll give them support on the end there and lots of strength and they'll look look good as well so the next job is to um, dimensions the um, shelving up cut 45s and biscuit joint them and join them together I made a 45 jig to cut the 45s in the shelf um, it's just a basically a board with a 45 degree angle cut into it and then I bolted a parallel onto the back. I marked the line on the shelf where I want the 45 for the track, for the saw. Just run the parallel onto that line, like that. Get the saw.
Cut the 45. And then we have the shelf. Look at that. Ready for some um, biscuit joints and to glue up. So all the shelves cut.
है Just creating a bit deeper line. So when I power it down from the other side, it'll help stop blowing it out. As I said, this microcarp is really brittle. Really brittle. Always wanted to split and crack. Line it up with the marking gauge line that we've got there, amp it up, create a push to start well outside the cut because we want to identify which way the grain's going, looks like it runs pretty straight, and then we just keep Halving the waste wood till we start getting pretty close. Then we can start just running slithers off it, gradually working our way back. Secret is not to try and take too much. And then you take little slithers off. So we can't take any more. And we start slicing down from the top. Keeping the chisel up against the 90 degree, nice and flat, we pair away the waste. Trimming it back to the mark lines, the cut lines that I put in. Outside, outside. Got a 
see it. Oh, pretty good. <coughs> Just take a little bit of uh, mark out of the corner. Don't want to make it super tight or this stuff will just split. That's what I'm talking. So brittle it'll split. So we just want to make it nice and snug. Yep, job's done. Together. I'd suggest that's pretty strong now. Yeah. We'll put screws in it as well. But that's all the joints done. I see in my future a lot of sanding. I'm going to use two pot glue to um, glue the bookcase together. So I'm going to glue it together in sections. I'm going to glue each shelf together, uh, the three big shelves together, and then we'll glue the connecting shelves after that. I, I just don't have enough clamps to glue the whole thing all up in one go. Let that dry. Once that's dry, we'll glue another shelf up. Once that's dry, we'll then glue the whole lot together. That's the plan. Fingers crossed it's going to work. One down, three to go. Keeps it all in alignment so it's all straight. It's glued on, let those dry, and then we'll flip her up and glue the last back pieces off.
So that's the first coat of uh, wipe on poly. Uh, we'll put on the bookshelves. Um, pretty much I sanded this to 180. I didn't think it needed to go any higher than that. I did some filling. Uh, I've left all the knots in that open because I think I think that's part of the wood, the part of the look. Um, so yeah, we uh, let that dry now. We'll give it a light sand with uh, probably some 240. Um, just take the nibs off and then give it another coat and then that's the job done and then we can hang it up from there. But that's, uh, that's looking good. Happy with that. That's the finished bookshelf mounted. Um, it's been fixed in, in two points. Uh, been fixed into the corner, into the timbers, the joists running down the wall, and it's been fixed on some brackets on this side. So you can see the screw in there. That goes through to the joist in the wall. One on top there as well. So that's fixed down the center of the of the shelf and then the outside pieces they were pretty strong by themselves but I gave them some brackets as you can see now they're bolted directly into the joist by the window and then screwed into the top so each shelf has one of those and that um, it certainly you know uh, you know, plenty of strength there for books and bits and pieces to be put onto the shelf. But that, I think it's come out pretty good. I, I quite like the design of um, the shelf. It really utilizes the corner well. It is freestanding, so of course we can now put something on the bottom underneath it as well. Uh, but yeah, looks good. Another job done. And now let's just test if we can actually call it a bookshelf. And that we can. Yeah, really happy with how that's turned out. Very pleased.